Please. She, she gave a really interesting perspective. Uh, affiliated with the Green Party, and it's great that we're uniting with different ideas. Yes. Number one, we're united in what? Ending the Fed. And we're all together on that. And it's interesting what you mentioned about you know community currency because you know it's uh, you know I'm I'm a gold and silver guy. And I think what Ron Paul has talked about is that at least the first step, you know, one solution is to, you know, uh, have competitive currency, just, you know, not tax gold and silver and let, not prohibit people from having it, right? So that's one way. Yeah, let, let, leave it up to the free market. And so, so but, but about the community currency and decentralization, it's funny because before the Revolutionary War, the colonies actually created their own currencies. And it actually worked, you know, and it was it was collateralized by land, but you know, it, it it actually worked. But the decentralization is the other big key that that's why we're all together on this. Where we want to end the Federal Reserve. It's a private institution with concentrated power. And once we get the power back to the people and allow community currency, gold and silver, whatever it may be, then then that we are making progress and and. and and we're empowering the people, and that's when things will change. So, uh, with that, um, we have one last speaker, and I'm sure you all know her. She's she's a hero because she's an the the, the most famous anti-war activist, I guess, today. And uh, any of you like uh, Nancy Pelosi here? Anybody? Oh no! No! Oh no! Uh, what? Hey! Hey! This is the one who should have been our Congress lady in this area. Um, for, uh, you know, congressional candidate, a uh, recent congressional candidate, uh, and, uh, and um, Cindy Sheehan, I'm so uh, glad that she's here. I give a warm round of applause for Cindy Sheehan.
defending this enormous U.S. empire that is harming everybody whether they know it or not. That it is taking prosperity and peace out of our communities. And that's one thing that we agree on, that our troops need to come home from Iraq and Afghanistan. <laughs> that we need to close the bases around the world. <laughs> that we need to reduce the size of our, our um, imperial military. <laughs> Barack Obama, the new emperor-elect. <laughs> Let me tell you, meet the new boss, same as the old boss. <laughs> Warmonger Hillary Clinton to be Secretary of State. He's going to appoint Timothy Geithner to be the Secretary Treasurer, who has worked really closely with Bernanke and Greenspan and Hank Paulson to put us in the in the crapper we're in today. So there's this isn't change we can believe in. It's not change. It's the same shit, different day. Yeah. Is what we have. Same empire, different emperor. And unless we overlook our differences or agree to disagree on some things and join together to to end empire, to end the Fed, to um, and the two rebuild the two-party system. <laughs> What's that? What two-party system? <laughs> it's, a, it's a banker. It's a banker's party. It's Goldman Sachs Party A and Goldman Sachs Party B. It's the war party. I like to call them the twins. So what we have to do, in, and marches are great. I've never been in a revolution that stopped for red lights, though. Come on, you guys. Come on, you have to be a little more militant than that. <laughs> but uh, an education, a system of education to educate people that the establishment consists of the Democrats and the Republicans. The establishment consists of people like Pelosi and people like Bush. Nancy Pelosi is Bush's best friend. And that is what is oppressing us. That is what is impoverishing us. And that is what is literally killing us. So we have to do a, a very aggressive uh, strategy of educating people that the two-party system is inherently corrupt. The one-party system, the twins. So we're here in San Francisco. I ran a couple weeks ago. We got almost 50,000 votes, which we thought was phenomenal. Ooh. We're going to use that foundation to build a new movement that reaches across traditional lines that says that